Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you how to play Have You Ever Seen the Rain as recorded by CCR on guitar. So let's get straight into it here. The song kicks off with the intro and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and we're in there with the verse. So there's just a couple chords you need to know. We're gonna start out on this A minor, which is from the fifth string down, open, two, two, one, open. And then we're gonna go to an F chord. And I played the F like a, like a bar chord here, one, three, three, two, one, one. But I use my thumb, so you could play the F bar like this, or if that's too hard, you could play it from the fifth string down like this, three, three, two, one, one. Or you could do what I was doing and use the thumb. This is a comfortable way, but it's definitely a more advanced way, like it takes a while to get that comfortable. But this will work, or just from five down, like A minor two, three, four, then F, that's like an F over C. And then what you do is you go to a C chord, but what I did was put the G in the bass. So this is three, three, two, open, one, open. So you, you take your typical C and you move that note to the bass there. Now you've got a C that you can play with all six strings. It's a great sound. Then I went to G, and G you could play any G that's comfortable for you. I like this one here, this folk style G, the third fret of the low E, mute the fifth string, then open, 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 three. And then you go back to C over G. So from there, I actually played this little lick. And that's really kind of a bass line there, the third fret of the fifth string, two, open, then go to the third fret of the low E, three, three, play that twice. So one and two and three and four and one. Now rhythmically here, we're primarily throughout this entire song just playing an eighth note strumming pattern, which would be like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, just going down up, but I'm playing with a backbeat feel. So if I take a chord like C over G, for example, I might play the bass notes or more the bass strings down up and then down up on the high string. So, or the treble strings and break it up like that. Now at times you'll hear some 16th notes as well sort of peppered into the strumming pattern. Like at the top you go, So that's one, two, three, four, and a one, and two, and three, and four, and that's a quick down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then go to the F, one, and two, and three, and four. Same thing again, and a one, and two, and three, and four, and G, then C. So that's the intro, and I'm gonna walk you through the rest of this song step by step. But before we go any further, let me ask you, have you ever struggled getting your guitar in tune without a tuner? I know for me, this was something that I struggled with for way too long, and it wasn't until I discovered a way of tuning that made it so much easier to do. And I found that the traditional ways that we're taught to tune, whether it's using the fifth fret or using harmonics, that those ways aren't actually as good. I came up with another way of tuning and I wanna share it with you. I put it down in just this simple five-step PDF guide, call it my five-step secret tuning method guide. And you can grab it completely for free at the first link down below, or you can just go to johnmcclennan.com slash tuning. And once you follow these five steps, you're gonna be able to grab any guitar, you won't need an electronic tuner, you won't need an app on your phone, and you'll be able to get it in tune just with the guitar itself, 
and you're gonna get there so much faster and then get to the music. And in this PDF, I show you the traditional ways that we're taught to tune, and then I show you why the way that I tune is better. So again, just go to johnmclennan.com slash tuning, or click the first link down below as my gift to you. All right, so the entire intro section sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Start the verse. All right, so the verse just uses two chords and there's no new ones. We're gonna start on that C over G chord. And if that's uncomfortable, you could always just play a C, but I just like this big, strong sounding chord here. Now we're gonna play that for four bars. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two. Then go to G for two bars and then back to C over G for two bars. So it's an eight bar phrase. You've got four of the C, then two Gs, then back to two Cs. Now rhythmically, I'm keeping that same groove. It's just a classic John Fogarty style groove with that back beat. So one and two and three and four and two. Three, four, go to G. And it goes again. To G. Da, 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 like water, C. All right, from here we go on to the chorus. And the chorus sounds like this. A one, two, three, four. play that little riff again and we're back to the verse. So the chorus starts on the F chord. And again, you can play just F over C if you want or the full F bar chord here. That's gonna go for one bar. One, two, three, four. Then we go to G. Okay, I'm playing just that folk style G. And then we have this walk down progression. And I call it a walk down because the bass is really just progressing down through the scale. We're in the key of C here. We're gonna go C, B, A, G, okay? So chord-wise, we're gonna play C from the fifth string down, then C over B, which is the second fret of the fifth string, mute the fourth string, then open one, open. Then go to A minor, and then this is a tricky move here. You could do this a few ways. You could play from the fifth string down, A minor, and then put your pinky on the third fret of the low E. That's getting that bass walking down, A minor to A minor over G. Or you could play A minor like this and then just take your ring finger off and play the bass note that way. Or what I do is actually, again, a more advanced way though, I'm playing the A minor like this with my middle finger covering two notes, and then I just grab the third fret there. Then it goes back. F, I want a G. Then C, walk the bass. Okay, that goes two times. Then you go F, da, G, da, da, C. Okay, then you can go. You can play that little bass line that we played in the intro that goes into the verse. And so this is the end of the chorus taking us back to the verse. So here's the chorus, played as one piece just for context. A one, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. Then 
we're back to the verse, okay? We do everything again, same as before. Now the second time here, we do this. And play the little lick in between the verse. Repeat to the verse. To G, then go back to the C. Okay, here's the chorus, next chorus. Okay, now at the end of the song, it does a double chorus. So we go back. I want to know, have you ever seen? All right, the last time. Then we do this little lick. Okay, and here's how it ends. This is the final lick here. It's like that bass line that we played in the intro and that little lick that came back throughout, but it, it's a little different here. We're on the C chord and, and we go to, the band goes to a G chord, but we're gonna play this lick. So that's the second fret of the third string to open, then the second fret on the fourth string twice, then down to the third fret of the low E. So, and then C over G for the last chord. So if you don't wanna play the lick, you would just go. And then you would just go G, then C. If you wanna play the lick, So have fun putting those sections together. It's a ton of fun to jam this song, either doing your own cover or playing along with the recording. And remember that even if you nail all the chords and the rhythms, but you're out of tune, that's a bummer. So make sure to grab my five-step secret tuning method guide, and this is gonna help you grab any guitar and get it in tune with itself right away. You won't need a tuner. All you gotta do is follow these simple five steps that I laid out for you in this PDF. You can grab it completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash tuning, or click the first link down below as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more CCR, check out this video next.